Now the question is uh, uh, if we do multi uh, if we do you apply the n path principle then as we saw over the last couple of classes uh, several of these components basically get eliminated because of cancellation and as a result you have fewer of these components and therefore you should expect the ripple to be small and i'm going to take a special case i mean you know for our uh, you know for our special case of uh, the dc dc converter where where we assume that d is uh, is half i'm going to just use this as a special case to illustrate the principle uh, multi phase dc dc converter of course is a, va a vast area in itself and uh, it doesn't make sense for me to talk about those things in uh, this course so let's say uh, I took one DC DC converter like this uh, and another one let us assume a two path buck converter right. So we have of course the input is the same so I do not need to have another battery uh, what I am going to do is have the same converter. And what am I if I use two path principles? Uh, uh, I mean, what am I going to drive? Uh, so, this is going to be the battery, all right. What are we supposed to uh, let me call this Vx1, we are going to call this Vx2. this is C and uh, we connect the two outputs together. If you connect two outputs together what happens? I mean uh, the uh, if you think about it uh, the uh, the Thevenin equivalents just basically come in parallel. The Thevenin open circuit voltage is also basically will therefore get divided by 2 right. So, you have to uh, so uh, the voltage will be the the DC component of the voltage will remain the same right and uh, uh, so this is now I L right. So, uh, what should this uh, switch be driven by remember what did we say about the n path principle the network is driven where the variation of time is uh, I mean of each component is just shifted in time by T s over n right in this case T s over n. So, uh, we had phi 1 like this, this is phi two and yeah. So, uh, if we call this phi 1 hat this is phi 2 hat uh, phi 1 hat is simply delayed by T s 2. Okay, so um, this is T s and this is T s over 2, all right. And similarly for phi 2, and in the because we have chosen uh, 50 percent duty cycle here, phi 1 hat simply happens to be equal to only in this particular case, not, uh, uh, not if the duty cycle was not 50 percent. Right. So, uh, uh, so what comment can we make about the inductor current uh, uh, in uh, uh, so we call this VL1, this is VL2. Uh, what comment can we make about IL1? So, in uh, let us see how I will want very good. So, let us see what happens in uh, phase uh, phi 1. Uh, the uh, I L 1 will basically ramp up during phase 1, right. Why? Because uh, during this phase, let me use a different color here. So,
phi l 1 goes up right uh, what comment can we make about i l 2 during that phase the i l 2 goes down right and the vice versa. right and uh, so this is basically i l 1 this is i l 2 all right and uh, therefore when you add these uh, uh, what is i l 1 i mean you can think of these two capacitors as being a single capacitor here of value 2C, correct. So, what comment can we make about uh, IL1 plus IL2? Has to be equal to that of course, but IL1 plus IL2 the waveform it is constant. constant. And that constant, but I mean, must be equal to i, right? So this is uh, actually i l one plus i l two by two, right? Uh, just so that uh, I want to show you uh, the cancellation of the ripple, right? I one i l one plus uh, i l two by two must be equal to i l by two. It makes sense if you have two converters, each one is supplying half the load current okay and uh, the key point uh, that we uh, we are seeing here is that uh, the ripple the uh, current flowing through uh, the capacitor 2c what is the current flowing through the capacitor 2c it will be zero, it will be zero correct and because the voltage across the, the uh, because the current through the, ca the capacitor is zero uh, that basically means the voltage across the capacitor is a constant correct so so uh, there is no ripple current through uh, the capacitor okay and therefore no ripple voltage across 2 C. All right. So, uh, this is uh, uh, this is how um, what do you call uh, the uh, the use of two paths is completely eliminating ripple right whereas if you have to do this with uh, a single path the only way that would be possible is if l and c became infinite right and uh, uh, you know again as you can see this ripple becoming zero is achieved through cancellation it's uh, whereas increasing l and c is achieved by division correct uh, so of course in practice uh, you know the two currents il1 and il2 will not be exactly the same so there will be some residual ripple but uh, as a principle you can see that the uh, uh, what do you call uh, the ripple at the output uh, is supposed to be zero now how does this uh, work from uh, uh, the lptv point of view uh, well uh, uh, if you look at the uh, inductor current in uh, the um, uh, 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 il1 of t if you think of it as uh, sigma k h uh, uh, sub k of 0 e to the j 2 pi f s times t right uh, by the way looking at the waveform of the uh, inductor current 
what comment can you make about the Fourier components of uh, uh, the uh, um, they are of course at F s, but it is a uh, you can see that you know if you assume that this is t equal to 0, you can see that it is an even function of time and therefore, only the uh, even components of uh, uh, the uh, Fourier, uh, Fourier series uh, uh, will be present right uh, and uh, I L 2 of t is also going to be it is going to be h k of 0 e to the minus j 2 pi f s times T s by 2 e to the j 2 pi uh, sorry this must be j 2 pi k f s times T all right and this is equal to minus 1 to the n. So, this is I believe this is uh, uh, sorry uh, this goes is the minus j minus uh, j pi times k right. So, uh, as you can see uh, there is uh, uh, there is cancellation because uh, this is only true for uh, I mean remember that only the uh, even harmonics are present. So, this will go and cancel out all the even harmonics. So, what you get is only uh, 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 DC will uh, will add correct. So, if you add I L 1 plus I L 2 the only components that will add are DC all the even harmonics get cancelled because of uh, the. Hmm. So, uh, so, uh, and uh, another it turns out that if you look at the current through in the single phase case yet another property that I would like to uh, point out is the following. What comment can we make about this current Yeah, it is so it is nothing but during phi 1 it is the same as the inductor current during phi 2 it is it is 0 right. So, the switch current here therefore, is going to be some waveform like that and then uh, right and during uh, the other phase it is going to be 0 all right. What comment can we make about uh, the uh, the uh, about I L 2? It is delayed by half, half, clock half clock cycle right. So, this is uh, I uh, S 1 this is got I S 2. right and uh, so you can therefore see that uh, in the single phase dc dc converter uh, what you have is that the current flowing through the battery right uh, would be have huge spikes so and that uh, it turns out that that damages the battery so you would actually put in it turns out that in practice you would also put in uh, a big capacitor ci across the battery so that all the high frequency current uh, drawn by the switch is supplied with the capacitor and the battery only supplies a largely a constant current right. Now, what happens uh, 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 with the two phase case? Well, when uh, uh, I mean even if you did not put the capacitor well all that you are seeing is the small ripple current through the inductor and uh, so the net current here is going to be a small ripple current. Whereas, earlier the total current I mean you would jump from 0 to full current uh, during every uh, uh, clock cycle right. So, uh, of course, uh, 
I mean, uh, so therefore, what this means is that the 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 capacitance you can put in to filter out the high frequency current going into the battery is is very small, right? So I mean, uh, we also see that uh, in this special case of choosing d equal to half, the output ripple is uh, zero. Uh, and of course, in this, uh, it turns out that uh, the output ripple is zero only at this particular duty cycle, right? If I change the duty cycle, then uh, the cancellation uh, will obviously not uh, happen. Uh, but it anyway turns out that the ripple will be lot smaller than what it would have. Uh, it would have been in single phase case, right? So this is uh, you know uh, one example uh, of the use of the n-path principle in uh, uh, multi-phase uh, in uh, DC-DC conversion, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, in practice it turns out that it's not uncommon for people to have you know maybe four or five phases. Right, uh, uh, a large number of phases, uh, and uh, that happens. I mean, you know, one thing that we saw here was that the load current is is split into uh, two paths. Right, it it is shared among uh, two sets of components. Where if you had to drive a, a, a large range of currents, then you know you could choose uh, uh, to do something where when the current becomes very large. Uh, rather than uh, uh, yeah you basically inc uh, you know turn on another phase so that uh, you not only uh, reduce the ripple uh, because remember that as il becomes larger and larger the uh, ripple also becomes uh, uh, higher correct so when the uh, the load increases then you basically add another phase uh, so therefore therefore not only yeah so basically the extra load current is shared among larger number of people right and also there is some degree of uh, you know ripple cancellation uh, that's possible right so the last example i'd like to